Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Healing Guys to Row. This is going to be your money, um, career, finances, whatever it has to do with your job, your business, your work, how you make money. And money coming in. Let's see what's happening for you guys. What do you need to know? And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Sorry. What do you need to know about your career or your business? Let's see. Wow, look at that. So, something's happening really quick. And here's a King of Pentacles. And now this could be representing you, or it could be a Taurus uh, Virgo Capricorn. And we also have the Queen of Swords. So, we have um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra here too. So, something's going on where you're going to, something's going to happen really quickly here. It could be communication. You also with the King of Pentacles, that's very stable. That's finance. It could be um a boss. It could be you being a boss. Maybe you're coming into being a boss, speaking your truth. But things are gonna happen quickly. There's gonna something's definitely gonna happen here for you. And um also with the Queen of Swords, um this is someone that's very intelligent, cuts out the bull. Um this energy is very um feeling very um relaxed, very strong and confident. I feel a lot of confidence here with these cards so whatever you're doing you're feeling very confident about doing it it's feeling like the right thing yeah both king and queen here so a lot of loyalty with the dog being in the in the picture here okay let's see what can you do to, to move forward Let's see, what can you do to move forward? Okay, the moon. So be Pisces, could be a Cancer Scorpio also. Um, we also have Three of Pentacles, which is working together and also moving on. So you're, you have to move on. For some of you, it has to move on from something that you are emotionally attached to. You have to move away from it. There's something that's hidden. Um, there's also teamwork here. And um, you could be actually moving. You could be moving your house or, or moving you know, moving where you live, moving where you work, moving your business. You could be changing um, your business. And for some, I have feeling that um, we're getting the energy that you're changing things around. You're sort of like just shifting things. The things don't, they don't feel exactly right. So you're you're making some kind of um, change to move things forward. But you are moving forward because you do have this um, six of swords, and you are getting divinely guided. You have these these birds here helping you spiritually, guiding you, taking away from something that was kind of rough, and, and also taking away from something that didn't feel comfortable to you. Felt like. You didn't know everything about something. You you felt like you were hidden or left in the dark. Now you're going to be working. It might be that you're leaving one type of job or business to go into a different type that you're getting more cooperation and you're not getting uh, left in the dark here. Okay. How can you be more financially successful? How can you be more financially successful? I feel like I'm not over enough here. Sorry. Makes me feel a little off here. Okay. Okay. You have to not be thinking about what happened in the past and how you lost out. Maybe if you lost a business or a job or something that something that was a loss to you. We can't dwell on that. But because there's something new coming in here, there's an offer coming in, uh, page of pentacles, there's news coming in, and this again, we have pentacles, so this is um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and now we have the King of Cups here. So this is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So it feels like you're feeling grounded, you're feeling more connected by letting this go by releasing this past by releasing this pain or whatever hurt you were you were feeling and being willing to take this next step because something is coming in for you 
there's going to be some type of offer and there's going to be movement this is going to ground you and this is going to um just make you feel more connected to everything okay where or what do you i'm sorry where or what do you need to improve here where or what do you need to improve This cup almost reminds me of the five of cups still dwelling on here. So we can't we can't dwell on this past. We gotta walk away from that. We gotta walk away from um I, I, for some it feels like not feeling good enough or not ready or you you are ready to nurture this. You're ready to put this to bed. This is this you're putting something, you're ending something here. There this has to be an end to something here. You might even have to have a discussion with someone over this. Um, but you are going to end up nurturing something new. There's definitely something new coming in that you're going to tend to, that you're going to put the time into because slowly I feel like your energy is slowly shifting away where you're not thinking about this person or this circumstance or something that's been keeping you, um, holding you down, holding you back. You're going to walk away from that. You're going to put it, finally going to put an end to it. It took a long time. You kept on like feeling like you're going to do it, you're going to do it, you're going to do it. Now, now you're doing it. Okay. What or whom is the obstacle you need to overcome? What or whom is the obstacle you need to overcome? The choices you made in the past. I think you have to just let that go. Maybe you made some bad choices, but now you're you're really thinking about it and you're going to make a good choice. You're making the right choice. You're making a choice that's going to help you grow. There was a lot of things that you didn't see before when you made these other choices. But now I think you're you're going deep within. You're you're realizing what you have to do. You're you're um getting the information you need. And then we have Libra here for justice. You're getting um balance. I think you're getting your whole your whole your whole persona feels like it's more balanced out. And it's going to bring in some new opportunities. And you're also going to cut out what does not belong. If it's not working for you, you're going to just cut it out to have this balance. Because you need to have some place where you feel like you can grow and you can prosper. And by doing this, you will get the balance. You will get the justice. Things will come out in your favor. And you will be able to um, connect on such a higher level that is really going to um, make you feel empowered. Okay, what is coming in the near future for you guys? What is coming in the near future? Ooh, look at this queen and king and knight of wands these this is um fire sign so this could be your energy here the queen of wands or it could be someone else uh, but it would be another aries a leo sagittarius or your energy and we also have the knight of wands so it looks like there's something coming in that's going to make you very excited you're going to have to learn a lot of new things maybe you might be going back to school or just starting over somehow but you're very excited about this. this this is a whole new beginning you're going to take the leap of faith uh, also the page of swords sometimes stands for someone watching you but i don't really feel it so much in this card so i'm not going to really go there with this i think you might be getting noticed for what you're doing but there's also um you might have it coming in here um someone that likes to have a lot of fun uh this the knight of wands is considered the playboy playgirl of the deck here but you are going to have fun it feels like your things are coming in to make you happier to make you have a good time to be able to create things you're you're almost going to be like um i think you're gonna be on fire here and um also someone finds you very attractive very alluring and they're really taken by you so that's coming in but i really do feel like some of you are going to be learning something you may take some courses online um, but learning something new, or even if it's a new job, a new business, you're going to be have to learn some things about this new position, this new business. Okay. What or whom is helping you? What or whom is helping you? I 
I think you're a very competitive spirit is helping you here. You might be competing with others, but I feel like you know that you can do this. You feel um, guided with this judgment card. This is some someone that is getting guided, divinely guided. And I feel like um, you're releasing, you're, you're letting go and you're letting this happen. And it's bringing in the Ace of Wands. So this is a no, brand new beginning, something that's very creative. So something new is coming in for you guys. And this is going to help motivate you because once things start changing, you start feeling that you're not stagnant, that things are going your favor. It's really going to work out for you. But on the deck right now, we have the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. So it's all so going within um, learning. Um, this also could be the healer, the teacher, the student. But going within, going within yourself and blocking out all others to find out the peace that you need to make yourself happy. Okay, this. What is your potential outcome? Let's see. Let's see what your potential outcome is. All right. So, someone is trying to be dishonest. Trying to either they're trying to steal from you or try to do something behind your back but the tower is coming in and they're going to be exposed and you're going to be shocked by this this also could be shocking news there's going to be a change and this is going to move you forward forward really quick this is cancer energy here the chariot so whatever is happening here i think things are going to come out and open because whenever i see this card definitely this thief is under the moonlight and is not hidden and you got someone here squealing so I think someone might be exposing someone for who they really are or what they're doing and it's going to bring a, a sudden change it's going to be some shocking news and it's going to it's just going to propel you forward to move on to something new here and we have the knight of pentacles so this is the um slowest knight in the deck but reliable steady um good with finances and we also have the king of pentacles here so i think your finances look really good because you're coming into knowing being more knowledgeable i think um you're being more knowledgeable about money so things are changing here and it's all to do with you with these new changes i think it's just growing your um realization of what you have to do and making you feel stronger and more empowered very nice okay let's see what else do we have here but we got two really fast cards of movement here and we also have this so there's definitely you're moving somewhere you literally can be moving where you live where you work or both but there's definitely movement and there's communication so stuff's coming in but there's also going to be some shocking change here okay what else do we have for aries blessings you're going to be blessed blessings are coming in for you grieving you might be grieving over a loss. It might be a, a change of your old self, or or you're grieving losing this. But you're once you grieve over it, you can transform your life. That's why we got the butterfly here. This transformation here. So once you let this go, and you and you actually give maybe you didn't give, give yourself time to grieve over something, a loss of a job, a business, or even um, a romance, and that was holding you back. But once you fully are able to grieve, you can move on. And your life be much better. Okay, let's see what else do we have here for Aries? New beginnings, yes. Blessings. Once you get through, like I said, that's from the beginning. I felt you have to let go of this past. And once you let go of this past, new beginnings are coming. Look at the archway here. That's telling you there's something new out there for you. And it ha it's going to be connected with your spirituality too, because we got the water here. We see that as spiritual. And look at all the butterflies for the transformation. This is really transforming you. And on the bottom we have answers. You're going to receive the answers you seek. Just ask. Ask divine. Ask the angels for help. Ask for answers. But even before you go to bed at night, if you ask a question and then go to sleep, you'll get the, the answer in your dreams. It will come to you. And when you wake up, if you wake up in the middle of the night, write it down. Have a notepad next to you in the bed because otherwise you might forget. And this way, you ask the, the question and you will be answered. 
Wow. This is really nice, Aries. I hope you like this reading. Please like, share, subscribe, and hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.